What's up, folks? Today, I'm out near a place called Sunflower, Arizona to look at some hilltop ruins that I've seen out here. The only thing uh, I've seen online about in this location is that it's called the Beeline Ruins. I assume that's because that's the Beeline Highway right down there. <laughs> um, I think they're right up on that hilltop over there. So, I parked my truck and we're going to walk over these nice green hills with all these boulders and make our way over there. Look for some petroglyphs along the way. I don't think there is any here, but uh, we'll look at some of them on the way anyway. This is some of the most beautiful landscape I've hiked through to a ruin in a while. Another little valley of boulders here. here I found a pile of miners trash I know there's like an old they call it a gravel pit something over there but uh, apparently they mined this area out at one time look at all this well, there's metal some bottle broken bottle parts in there yeah, lots of super old cans oil cans beer cans even I don't know what that was part of look at that Huh, very cool. Yeah. Let's see if one of these cans can maybe give an indication of how. Oh, yeah, these are pretty old. <laughs> well, that's cool. This is another area where uh, there's remnants of both mining and uh, ruins. Alright, we got the base of the hill it's actually at now. Look how beautiful it is around here. Recent rains have it all green. Ah, love it when it looks like that in Arizona. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start making my way up to the top of this thing and see what we got here. Yeah, looks like I'm definitely on the right path. As I do see some wall. Oh, it's so bright out here. There's some wall stacked right there. But uh, I need amazing views up here. I'm not going to go straight up that way towards the wall. I'm going to go around here and uh, see if I can approach it from a different way. I don't want to have to jump over that or anything. All right. I'm approaching from the side here. Up under this. And, yeah, this is definitely it. Look, there's a uh, stacked rock and the stack goes all the way along there. So let's go up in between here. All right. Yeah, that was uh, pretty much just a stroll up compared to that one last week. <laughs> mm. But, uh, well, yeah, here we are. This is like a uh, outer perimeter wall right here. This whole thing it goes all the way down there, and we are like right on the side here, too. So, let me go and try to find a way in this. I may like hop on this big stone and then jump over there real quick. Alright, we're inside of it now, along the western wall. And yeah, look at that. Uh, it's all like local rock brought from down there. This was all stacked up high along this side. Flat stones. Little like room right here. And take a look at this. Wow. That's definitely the biggest and best one of those little metates I've seen. Look how deep and well that's ground in there. Grinding stone, I'm sure, is long gone, but I ain't no getting rid of this. Water pools in it now from the rains. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is right. Right next to this little, like, uh, kind of room, you see this right here, a bunch more stacked. And look at that, the stacking continues way over there on the other side of these big boulders. Wow. This spot seems older than others I've, I've been to for some reason. It just 
has that feel to it. I don't know. All right, let's go over here now. Okay, this little dugout area in between the boulders. Kind of some rock in there. Look at that beautiful wall up there. We're gonna get a little closer to. That's probably the most intact area of the thing. Well, that I see so far anyway. I haven't been over to the southern portion of it yet, but yeah, look at that. A lot of big flat rock just stacked. It goes all the way up on the edge there. Down, down into the little valley up on the hill and all the way over there to the other side. This reminds me of like a mix between the, the St. Clair ruins from my first Ruin Explorer video and kind of like the Queen Valley ruins from my last Ruin Explorer video. It's like a mix between them. <laughs> when I saw those perimeter walls, a couple stations in the middle. It's like Queen Valley, but the hill and type of rock and everything is, is like the St. Clair. Yeah, it's kind of like a mix between them. I'm going to go right here a little bit. Yeah, look at all that. Go check on the other side. Right dead center. Looks like there was a, a room right here. All that stacking, like maybe a round or square room right in the middle. At one point with those boulders on the side is the backing. And yeah, no petroglyphs around here as far as I can tell anyway. This is the wrong type of rock it seems like. Get up, um, yeah, see there ain't, it's that stuff, there ain't really no way to etch good into that, and if there was, I think it's probably eroded, but still, yeah, I got the stacked rock here, looks like a little room in the middle. Go down here, yeah, a little pathway there. Now this is the another little area of the wall. And this is right above the freeway as you can tell. That's the that's the beeline right down there. If you've ever driven to Payson, you've been right by this. And in fact you could look up on your uh, west side there and see it. It's so cool the way it's stacked going up that hill right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. I'm gonna go back over here. Over by the southwestern, like last little portion of wall here. Some of it's kind of falling down, it looks like. This was stacked pretty good at one point. Oh, yeah. They didn't need a wall on the southern half or even most of the eastern portion of it because it's just all these gigantic boulders with pretty much a cliff on the other side. Look at that. That is a piece of pottery. First one I've seen at this location. Amazing. Leave that right where it's at. If there's any more. Yeah, all these. This looks like maybe it was stacked into a wall at some point. That might have been a wall at some point. All these are rocks that were brought up here for sure. And this is the southernmost end of it right here. It's like a room surrounded by boulders. It'd be cool to look at with uh, you know all these all these plants in here. Some poop right there. Yeah. There's poop and tracks around here. Something calls this place home at night. <laughs> Still, an animal. Look at that stone of the wall. It's like a giant brick. Get my shadow off of it. Huh. Almost as if it was quarried. So perfectly rectangular. <laughs> well, up here by the northern wall again. Just one last look at how glorious this is and it kind of even though like it comes around goes kind of right right there into that wall there it, it is kind of built a little bit over to the side right there too but uh busy freeway below 
going up there and as I make my way back down I will uh, I'm gonna go over to the side a little bit and maybe look around and see if I see anything else that could be remnants but I might not find anything if so I'll be back with you before I headed down I came and look around the southern portion of this thing one more time and I'm really glad I did because I found something really cool look it is a second matate this one's dry but uh, yeah not quite as deep as the other one but very pronounced still and that's really bright it's hard to tell about yeah look at that I wonder how long it took to grind that in there definitely lots and lots of hard work going back and forth and you can tell this and, and right over there where I was with the other one yeah these were like definitely workstations because to see two of these wow coming back down the side right now and I just want to share some final thoughts like remember if you ever decide to come to a place like this just approach with the utmost respect and don't take anything don't break anything you know, don't walk on any walls, tip anything over. Just use common sense, really. These places are really old and they mean something. So, look, as I come down to it, check it out right here. There's a, there's a piece of pottery right there. Another little piece right there. It looks like a little tooling stone right here. Very cool. And I came over here because I seen from over there this lake. Look at that. That's More pottery. It's like there's a bunch of pottery sliding down the hill right here, but look at how those that big ass boulder is balanced. <laughs> oh, there's like a little tunnel going down. Very cool. Alright guys. I'll pop back on if I find anything cool as I'm heading down. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. Much, much more to come. Thank you.